Hello, I'm Kate Ming, an Application Specialist in Infrastructure at ID8 Inc. Today I'm going to share with you one of the new features of Civil 3D 2015, the ability to lock a profile to its horizontal alignment. ID8 is a value-added reseller and Autodesk Gold Partner. Here are some of the ways our staff of industry professionals is committed to helping you succeed. Today I'm going to show you the new profile locking features. They are on a new tab called Profile Locking, which can be found on your Profile Properties box. There are two options. You can anchor your profile geometry to alignment geometry points, or anchor the profile to the alignment start. Now I'm going to switch to the software to give you a demo. Now I'm in Civil 3D 2015. In this drawing, I have a surface, an alignment, and the alignment's corresponding surface and design profiles. In this design scenario, I need to start the alignment over at the center of the circle right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch the end of this alignment over here. And in doing so, I'm going to increase the length of the first tangent, and I am also going to change the bearing of the first tangent. The length of the curve will also change. Now, let's examine the profile. First, I'd like to point out that these blue vertical lines represent beginning and ends of horizontal geometry points. So this blue line right here represents the beginning of the alignment, as well as the beginning of the tangent. And this blue line right here represents the end of the tangent. This area right here between these two blue lines is the area that is going to be affected by the change. I want you to take note of the elevation values. The elevation values of each PVI do not change as you move the horizontal geometry points around. So the PVI, or the elevation of the first PVI is 238.613, with a grade coming out of minus 1.74. The elevation value of the second PVI is 233.59, with the grade coming out of minus 1.26. The next PVI has an elevation of 225.31. Now, I want you to notice that this second PVI is after the horizontal geometry point. Now, I am going to go to the Properties Manager to look at our different profile locking options. The way you get to the profile locking options is to select the alignment, go to the Profile Properties, and go to the Profile Locking tab. The first option we are going to look at is the anchor profile geometry points to alignment geometry points, the very first one right here. The way this option works is that the PVI's elevation and distance to the previous horizontal geometry point remain the same. The elevation values, like I said, do not change. You can choose to have a notification symbol pop up of the affected entities. Let's see how this works. Now I'm going to change the alignment. I'm moving the beginning of the alignment to the center of the circle over here. And in doing so, I'm increasing the length and changing the bearing of the tangent. Moving over and looking at my profile, I see that the surface profile's elevations have increased. However, the finished grade elevation values for the PVIs remain the same. The grade coming out of the first PVI remains the same as before because both PVIs the first and second PVIs, the distance to the original geometry point, which is right here, remain the same. Therefore, since the horizontal distance remain the same and the elevation values remain the same, the grade remains the same. That is not the same for this tangent coming out right here, which now is minus 0.62. That's because the, tan the original horizontal tangent increased, and in doing so, it moved the PVI, this third PVI, farther out along the alignment, thereby increasing its distance from this PVI right here. The elevation values didn't change, 
but the horizontal values did, the grade has changed. That's how this option works. You turn the I symbols off on the profile contextual tab. You can dismiss all notifications or just dismiss selected ones. I'm going to dismiss them all. I'm going to go back to the profile properties box and check out our other option. Anchor profile to alignment start. But before I get started with that, you can also delete affected entities as opposed to having them modified for that previous option. Let's check out how anchor profile to alignment start works. This option locks the profile to the beginning of the horizontal alignment. But what if the beginning of the horizontal alignment changes as in our example? Well, if that happens, the start of the original horizontal alignment is projected onto the updated horizontal alignment. In this option, the grades, curve lengths, elevations, and PVIs all remain the same. The only thing that changes is the stationing. For more information about our Autodesk ATC locations and to keep up to date with the latest news and information, Check out our website, subscribe to our blog, and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn.